go. Alright, the first question of the day. Which of the following is not a net of a cube? You have 60 seconds. Alright, which one is not the net of a cube? <laughs> Anime lover that will be in October, yeah? Alright. If you haven't learned, you can also try. No worries. Again, okay? no worries at all. Okay, you got 12 more seconds. 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Alright, this is a very, very standard P6 question. Once again, if you're not yet in P6, you're in P4 and you're saying this is hard, of course, because you haven't uh, started learning about nets yet. You will learn, if you're in P4, you will learn about nets uh, very soon this year, yeah? But for those of you who have yet to learn, please don't worry. For those of you who have already graduated and you got this wrong, not to worry. Let's take a look at why the answer is number four, okay? For the little bot, we have Groovy Cat being at the top. Congratulations. All right, let's take a look at a video that uh, we have prepared here for why the answer is number four. Let's see if the video is working. If not, let's see if I can do something about it real quick. It seems like our video is not loading. Okay, please give me one moment. One moment, I help you load the video, okay? One moment. Alright. Okay, let's go on to YouTube to watch the video, in fact. Okay, let me just quickly show you the video on YouTube instead. For those of you who are able to watch it on your own phones, that's wonderful. For those of you who are not able to see why number four is not the correct answer, or rather why number four cannot make a cube, this is the video, yeah? This was option one. Option two, we can fold it to become a cube. Option number three also can fold to become a cube. But option four, the one that looks like a Z, we are going to have a little overlap there. Let me show it to you one more time, okay? Let me show it to you one more time, slightly slower this time. Okay, why option four is not right? Because we are going to have an overlap. Okay, let's see. Uh-oh. It seems like the video doesn't want to cooperate as well. Why is that so? Okay. Just give us a second, okay? One second. Okay, let's see. Alright, it's okay. I have prepared something else for you anyway. So, let me show you why number four is not correct, okay? For those of you who saw the video, wonderful. If not, let me show you why, okay? If you were to label your sides, you have the base, you have the front. Once you fold it up, it becomes the front. And then this, once you fold it up, it becomes the right side. This goes on to become the top, this will become the left. But this guy and this guy will both be the left side. That is why we will get... Uh, an overlap. That is why option number four is not correct. Okay, it cannot form a cube. Alright, it seems like our solution doesn't want to load. Not to worry. I believe you guys can see it on your own uh, phones as well, okay? Alright, we'll move on to the second question. The second question, if you want to join, the code is 352629. 352629. Okay, one more time. 352629. Let's go on to the second question. Are we in yet? 352629. Okay? 352629. Okay? Alright, let's begin in 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Second question. Which algebraic expression is for row N, column C? 
row n, column C. Which expression is for row n, column C? Oh, Ida, thank you very much for your uh, kind intention to donate a rose to us, but we do not allow anybody to spend money on us, okay? What we are doing here is completely free for our students, so you don't have to spend money. Okay, so we have about less than 30 seconds left. Which is the correct expression for row N, column C? Row N, column C. You have about 15 seconds left. <laughs> Mika, you got it actually. Ryan, you try again, Ryan. Not donate a roast, roast chicken, <laughs> no. It's on TikTok. Donate a rose. Alright, the correct answer is 5N plus 2. Those of you who put N plus 5, not quite correct, okay? Yes, this is all P6 topic, but there are some questions where our P5 students can solve as well. Alright? Okay, friends, I'm going to share with you why the correct answer is row, uh, for row N, column C is 5N plus 2. Okay, let me share with you why. <coughs> Groovy Cat is still number one. Well done to Groovy Cat. Now let's take a look at the solution here. Alright, so what we notice, this is a number patterns question. What we notice is that column A is all multiples of five. So what we can do is to relate it to the column number. How do we get 15? That is five times the, uh, sorry, row number. How do we get 10? That's 5 times the row number 2. How do we get 5? Five? 5 times the row number 1. So if, let's say, we want to get from column uh, the answer to column A, we just take 5 times the row number. In this case, it will be N. So that's 5 times N to give us 5N. To get to column B, it is actually just add one more from column A. To get to C, just add two more. So that will be 5N plus 2. Okay? So the answer is 5N plus 2. Got it? All right. Okay, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, um, Mr. and Mrs. and uh, uncles and aunties, can you please help me spam the like button while we wait for some more people to join us before we move on? Thank you very much. You have five seconds, ready? Five, four, three, thanks a lot. I see all the likes coming in. Two, one, wonderful. It will be very helpful if you can share the live as well so that a lot of your friends and classmates and family members and everybody can join and learn together, okay? Thank you so much. Let's move on. Hi, Safana. I saw you. Yes, hello. Let's move on. Question number three. Thanks a lot for sharing the live. That's really, really helpful for us. Thank you so much. Today, we are going through some uh, prelim questions, okay? So, it's a roja of a lot of topics. <laughs> okay? Alright. So, this one here, we want to solve the question. Let me zoom in the question for you guys to read first before we look at the solutions, okay? I mean, um, the options. Alright. <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay, so for this question, you have uh, some participants. They are going to win a prize if they score at least a certain point, okay? And there were 90 participants, 20% of them won prizes. Okay, 20% of them won prizes. So from the table, what was the highest score of a participant who did not win? Alright, so here are your options. You've got about a minute left. You have about one minute left. So... What is the answer? We have 29, 28, 27, and 26. Okay. Quite a number of you have gotten it right, actually. Shashani, good job. If you haven't learned percentage yet, don't worry, okay? 20% just means 20 out of 100. That means a fraction of the percentage, that's all. Okay? Wow, quite a number of you have gotten it right. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, let's see. Ellie, you are correct. Correct. Nice one. 
Okay, you have about four more seconds. Let's take a look. My music suddenly disappeared. Don't know why. Okay, quite a number of you have gotten the correct answer. It is indeed uh, 28. 28 is indeed correct. This one is quite a straightforward question. Oh, this time round, we have a new person on the leaderboard. Congratulations to you. Okay, so let's take a look at why the answer is 28 of them, okay? So because we need to have at least a certain number, that means your, those who win prizes must have a very high score. Okay, at least a certain number means once you reach this score and above, then you can get your prize. So we need to look at the far tail end of the table. Those who got the higher scores, 18 of them because 20% of 90 is 18. 18 of them won prizes. So this is where we have the cut off. Those who got 29 and 30 points will win prizes. Therefore, those who got 28 will not win prizes. That will be the highest score of a participant who did not win a prize. Okay? Everybody understand? Okay, fantastic. All good so far? Okay. If you are enjoying our Kahoot and you want more Kahoot next week, can you please help me share this live with all your followers and following and your classmates, your teachers and your brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers? Can you please help me share it? Thank you very much. Okay, we will have to move on in about 5 seconds, okay? 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. Alright, before we go on, okay, before we go on, one more time, we are going to um, move on very soon, but I would like to share with you that if you want your hands on our solutions and the worksheet before the live next week, you can head over to our Telegram channel at Mastermats PSLE, okay? Then you can try the questions first before joining so that you can just play the code and ta da 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 key in all your answers very fast, okay? Alright, so the game pin once again is 352629. We will move on in 3, 2, and 1. Let's go. Question number 4 out of 8 for today. Alright, question number 4. Okay, sure, Sophia, we will share with you the link once again, okay? Alright, this one, a lot of students will know what to do. I got a jug which has 5 litres of water. I use it to fill identical cups. Each of, it, each of the cup has a capacity of 4 fifth litre. How many cups do I need to fill all the water from the jugs? This one, quite a number of you should be able to get it right. Okay, thank you for sharing and liking the live. Thanks a lot. Okay. It's okay. Rauda, it's okay. All good. If you guess, uh, no problem. Just listen out for the solutions later on, okay? No problem. Nana, you are li you are singing song. <laughs> what song are you singing? It's okay, Rauda, it's okay. Don't worry about it, okay? Alright, the correct answer is 7. Let's take a look at why it's 7, yeah? Quite a number of you have gotten 7, but there is also a good chunk who have gotten 6. Let's take a look at why the answer is 7. This time round, Champion Conda, nice job. Okay, so the solution to question number 4. I believe most of you have divided very nicely. So once again, a quick recap for division here. 5 litres is my total. 4 fifth litres is each of my cups. So when I divide, I will get the number of cups. Okay. To divide fractions, remember, we got to first convert it into an improper fraction. And then we got to do KCF. Keep the first item, 5 over 1. Change the divide into times. Flip the second item to give us 5 out of 4. And then we can just multiply top times top 25. 1 times 4, the bottom times bottom will give us 4. And that will give us 6 and 1 quarter. Okay? However, the answer is not 6 because we want to fill all the water. It's going to be everything. So even our remainder, we need one more cup for it. Okay? Our remainder, we will need one more cup. Therefore, the answer is 7. Okay? 7. Got it? Alright, 
So once again, if you would like to join, the pin is right on the screen. 352629. 352629, okay? Alright, everybody good so far? Fantastic. What Mr. Tan are you talking about? Bamboo? I'm not so sure. Oh, the question's Mr. Tan, is it? <laughs> okay. All right. We will now move on to question number five. All right. Question number five really, really soon. Let's take a look at number five. Okay. This one also got to solve the question. The diagram shows four identical... <laughs> Suddenly, we have the music again. The diagram shows... Four identical right angle tri uh, isosceles triangles with a quadrant enclosed in it. You want to find the area shaded in terms of pi. Okay? We have eight questions. This is number five. We will end roughly around 8.30, okay? 8.30. Okay. How many of you found this one hard? Anyone? Somebody on Instagram has given a very nice hint. Very, very nice hint. Do you guys want hint for this one? <laughs> no, Mika. Mika, let's not tell the answer. We let everybody try, okay? This one is for primary school P6 math. P6 standard. Okay, let me give you a hint, yeah? Because all of these shapes are identical, what you want to do is to do cut and paste. Four quadrants can form a... Four quarter circles can form a circle, okay? As long as you get first prize, you will get the voucher, okay, Rauda? Alright, so what you want to do is cut, 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 paste, paste, paste until you're able to form your circle, okay? And then the circle will be inside a shape. What shape is that? Okay, the circle will be inside a shape. What shape is that? Haji, you are correct. Okay, let's take a look. All right, we will get the answer as 400 minus 100 pi. Quite a number of you have gotten it right, actually. We will take a square minus a circle. Let me show you why, okay? Alright, first and foremost, congratulations again to Champion Conda. But for those of you who want to join and you want to stand a chance to be the number one in our Kahoot quiz and gain yourself a $10 popular voucher, you can head over to our Kahoot.it game pin 352629 to join. There are a couple of double points questions coming up soon, okay? So, let me explain to you why this answer is number one. Actually, all we got to do, quite a number of you have gotten it right. All we got to do is cut and paste to form a square on the screen. So, once you have formed a square, okay, you just put the triangles together, cut and paste, you will form a square. Once you have formed a square, you know that the radius of the circle is 10. Therefore, the diameter, which is the length of the square, is 20. So you will take the area of the square, 20 times 20, minus away the area of the circle, which is the four quadrants put together. Okay? So that will be 400 minus 100 pi. Got it? Okay, so some of you are saying this is too easy to be in primary school. I see a comment there. But actually, what we want to test you is a little bit of your creativity to see if you are able to uh, form a circle based on your four quadrants. Okay? Got it? Alright, 10 times 10 is not 20, it should be 100, okay? Please be very careful for that. For next question onwards, it will be yes, just numbers only, okay? Everybody good here? Once again, once again, I'm going to explain here. What I have done is to put all these four triangles together, I rearrange to form my square. And then I will get a circle within a square. The length of the square will be... 20 times 20 because the diameter of the circle is 20. Okay? Alright. Yes, Haji, no need dollar sign. 
All right, everybody good? Once again, if you would like to get your hands on our solutions and all the other past live classes and uh, the worksheets and the solutions, they can be found on our Telegram channel at Mastermats PSLE. Okay, Mastermats PSLE. All right, friends, before we move on to question number six, once again, there are some of you asking for our webinar. Once again, we are going to have a free webinar coming up on the 8th of August, Thursday, 5 p.m. to 6.45 p.m. We'll be sharing very, very important, useful skills and uh, tips and tricks to help you with your PSLE. It will be open to P5 and P6 um, math and science students, okay? We will be also giving away a 50-day study planner together with 10 years of actual PSLE papers, both math and science. So if you would like to join, go ahead to our uh, channel here, mastermats.com.sg slash PSLE NDP webinar to register your interest. Okay, it will be on the 8th of August, Thursday. You will not have school on that day because of uh, pre-national day. So you will have your celebration and then you'll go to school. Come back home, I mean. Okay? Alright, everybody good so far? We will share more about the secondary school webinar tomorrow, okay? Can non-MM students also join for free? Of course! It's open to everybody. If you are even, uh, not even in Mastermats, it's also uh, open for you. You can come ahead, uh, go ahead and join, okay? No worries. Got it? Okay, tomorrow same time, the live will be 7.30pm. Okay. Hi dot dot. What is your what is your name? All right. For those of you who want to continue, we have three more questions to go and this time around all the three questions are double pointers. Before we move on, can I please get all of you to help me share the live with everybody that you know. Can you please do that for me? Thank you very much. It will definitely help us gain a lot more traction and help a lot more students who are in need okay and we really hope that this has been very helpful for you so far thank you so so much we hope that by sharing the live and liking the live it will reach to a greater audience and help more students in need because that's our entire mission actually we just want to help students okay thank you so much let's go back to our questions in five four three two one let's go Okay, this time round, you don't have to type any units. You only type in your answers will do. Just the numbers, okay? It is on 8th of August, yes. It is online, correct? On Zoom, yeah? Okay, this one, I give you a hint. You got about 4 minutes to solve this question. I'm going to give you a hint. Draw a model. Draw a model. Okay? That is the hint for you. Draw a model. Alright. Thank you for sharing the live and liking the live. Thanks a lot, everyone. Hi, Raihan. Okay. What do you mean by second number seven? Hello, flowers. Give you a hint, yeah? Give you a hint. Draw a model. Second number. Here, let me zoom it in for you. Mika, can see? Is this helpful? Alright. The webinar is a free webinar where we'll be giving away a 50-day study planner for our PSLE and P5 students as well as 10 years worth of PSLE papers. You can sign up at our link mastermats.com.sg slash PSLE NDP webinar. It is mostly for our PSLE students. We'll be sharing a lot of tips and tricks on... Um, how to ace the PSLE for math and science. Okay? Yes, Ken. Give me a second.
All right. So once again, uh, for this question, the hint is to draw a model. Once you draw a model, the steps is not very long actually. This is relating to equi equating numerators. Okay? Equating numerators. <laughs> Nana, you're very funny. <laughs> Okay, let me send you the link to the webinar on TikTok. One second. Okay, the links. If you don't understand, take a look at this part. Yeah, if she spent three quarter, she'll be left with one quarter, correct? Sharon also two third will be left with one third. Tanya also four fifth will be left with one fifth. So you are comparing all of their one units. Okay, hundred is not the correct answer. Good try, but not correct. Okay, so you are comparing all of their one units. You draw out the model for all of their one units first and then you multiply that by the number of units you got to draw for each of them based on the 4, based on the 5 and based on the 3. Okay? Alright. Hadi, that's not very nice to say. That's not very nice to say, Hadi. They will not be the same, yeah? Your models, you cannot draw them the same. Okay, so how to solve? The answer is actually $175. How do we solve this? 22, 24 of you got it right. Fantastic. Let me share with you how to solve this, okay? This is actually a, a prelim question. Congratulations to Eager Camel. Let's take a look at how to solve this. This is from Marie Stella, last year PSLE uh, prelim. Paper 2 question. So what I have done here is to draw a model. Let me just zoom it in for you, yeah? Based on the question, we know that uh, Sharon will have one unit left because she spent two-thirds. Rosie will have one unit plus another 12 because she spent three-quarters, so she has one uh, part left. But her one part is $12 more than Sharon. So we have one unit plus 12 here. Whereas for Tanya, it will be 1 unit plus 20. Because, yes, she spent 4 fifth, she will have 1 fifth left. Her 1 fifth is actually $20 more than Sharon. So this is what they have left for each of them. And we multiply that by the denominators for each of them. Because Rosie spent uh, 3 quarter, so there will be another 3 boxes of this in green to show that she spent it all. Okay? For Sharon, it will be the same. She spent two-thirds, right? So it will be two more boxes of one unit. Whereas for Tanya, it will be one unit plus 20. We multiply that by four more because she spent four-fifth. Everybody understand so far? Okay? Can? Can, ah? Uh? Alright. Okay, so from here, let's be nice, everyone. Let's be nice on the chat, okay, for our friends on Instagram. Okay, so from here, all we got to do is count the number of units. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. 12 units together with all the extras. Rosie has 12 times 4 extras. Uh, Sharon has no extras. Tanya has 20 times 5 extras. So from there, the entire thing will give us 328. We take away all the extras, take away the 12 times 4, and the 20 times 5 extras, we will get our 12 units. From there, we can find 1 unit, and therefore, we can find Tanya at first, which is 1 unit plus 20, and then we times 5. Okay? I'm going to leave this answer here for a minute. If you understand the model method, this is on actually equating numerators. If you understand the model method, can you spam the like button, please? Okay? Thank you very much. It's okay if you got the answer, you didn't have much time. You should be very proud of yourself for getting it. Okay? Very nice. Okay, if you understand this so far, can you help me spam the like button and share this with all of your friends and family? Thanks for liking and sharing the live. I really appreciate it actually. Okay. 
Okay. So, how's it coming so far? All good? Okay. All right. Everybody okay, yeah? Um, OEM Noodles. Unfortunately, I've been trying to send you the link, but I'm not able to for some particular reason. I will show you the link once again later. Is that okay? All right. I will show you the link once again later, yeah? All right. Okay, everybody good so far? Let's move on to the next question. Okay? <laughs> Let's move on to the next question. Some of you singing NDP songs already. So excited, is it? Okay. Let's go on to question number seven. Question seven, the second last question. Alright, this one is actually a past year PSLE question. Huh? There's double points here. A past year PSLE question. I give you a hint here. What you want to do is focus on least total number. Least total number of trees. Okay, Mika, you try again. Hadi, I hope this has been helpful for you. For those of you who don't understand any of the questions, I'm going to stay behind to help you out later on, okay? Amber, yes, possible. We can use ratio to solve. Possible. Kobe, you try again. Tashani, you try again. All right. Sophia, very nice. Chicken, you got it. For this one, is it Afra? You need this explanation badly. Is that what you're asking? Hang in there, okay? Hang in there. We've got a few more seconds and then I will share the explanation. About two more minutes, okay? Hang in there. Okay. This one, you would need to divide. You are correct. That is the very first step. Okay, friends, I help you out here, okay? If I want the least total number, that means I want as many big ones as possible, right? So that I can have uh, bigger groups. So that I can have a smaller number of groups if I put them in bigger groups, correct? So, I would want to divide 252 by 8 first. I fill in all the 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, fill in all the 8 first. Then from there, I think about what happens, especially since I got a remainder, okay? Then I see what will happen. Alright, this one no need guess and check. Guess and check is not necessary for this question. Uh, Shakir, actually we can do less than 36. You try again. Kobe, you got that. Let me see, uh, Rasul, whether you got it right. Have you typed it in? This one, no need to use guess and check. But if you use, it's also per uh, perfectly fine. Russell, you got it. Yes, Tashani, not 20. Not 20, not 32. Ahsoka, if you don't know the meaning of a word in the paper for math, you can try to raise your hand and ask the teacher. Just for the meaning, okay? The meaning of the word. You can try to do that. Hi, Duncan. Yes, Soka, go ahead and do that in the exams. You try, okay? Some teachers, they do actually explain to you the meaning of the word. Duncan, the code is 352629. 352629. Tashani, you got it. You got it. Very good. Wonderful. Afra is not 84. 84 is a bit too big. Okay, this is the second last one. If 
front. It's a lot of practice. Lots and lots of practice. Okay, the correct answer is 33. I'm so happy that a lot of you have actually typed in the correct answer in the chat. The answer is indeed 33 and 27 of you got it right here. Well done. Let's take a look at why it's 23, okay? Eager Camel still leading the leaderboard. Let's take a look. Alright, so this one is actually on systematic listing. What do I mean by that? Show you one more time. It's on systematic listing. What do I mean by systematic listing? A lot of students will, um, how do I put it? They will confuse listing with guess and check, but it's actually not guess and check, okay? So what is going on here is this, huh? I will first fill in as many trays of 8 as I can. I will get 31 trays and a remainder of 4. The only problem is, yes, I can fill this 4 on a smaller tray to give me 32, but the question says that there is no eggs left over and all the trays were full. Meaning, my tray of 5, I cannot have one missing egg. Okay? Therefore, this is not the correct answer. 31 is wrong. 31 plus another one more of a small tray, also wrong. Because that means I will only fill in 4 spaces out of the 5 spaces in the small tray. So what am I going to do? I am going to unpack one of the trays. So if I got 31, I will have a remaining of 4. It is not divisible by 5. Why divisible by 5? That's because I want to fit the small trays such that there is no leftover. Okay? I want to fit into the small trays such that there's no leftover and the small trays is in multiples of 5. Okay, so what am I going to do next? I will unpack one of the large tray and then repack it into the small tray. So just now I got 4. Now I unpack, I will get 8 more remaining. So that will give me a 12. 12 remaining trays. And this again means that I cannot divide by 5 nicely to give me my small trays. Okay, because 12 is not divisible by 5, I will definitely have some empty spaces. Therefore, I move on. I unpack one more. When I unpack one more, I'm going to get extra 8. And that makes a 20 left over. Ah, just nice. 20 can be very nicely packed into trays of 5. Okay? And that is uh, the reason why this is called systematic listing. I use the most extreme case here of all the large trays and then I slowly unpack one by one. That's why it's called listing. Unpack one by one. Then I repack it into the smaller trays. Okay? And that leaves us with a total of 29 large one, and if I got 20 extra eggs divided by 5, I will get 4 small. So 29 large, 4 small, that will give us 33. Okay, friends? Got it? Alright. Any questions so far? How is it going on here? Thanks, Irfan. 10 out of 10. Everybody good so far? <laughs> Thank you, 8-Ball. Thanks for liking my handwriting. Okay, let's move on, okay? Let's go on to the next question. The last question for the day. Okay, last question for the day. If you need more assistance, don't worry, I'm still here until uh, about 9 o'clock or slightly before 9, you can ask me questions if you want, okay? Alright, let's take a look at the next one. Second, uh, the last double points question. This one is a very simple question. Work backwards a little bit and you will get it right, okay? Let's take a look. Mika, not right, you try again. Okay, let's take a look. No, Mika, you try again. Kobe, you got it. Kobe. Dynamic Oryx, got it. I got your command, my dear. Good job for you. And Berlin, I prefer A math for secondary school. Okay, let's see. Hmm. 
All the trees must be full flowers, you are right. Tashani, you got it. Wow. Tashani, it seems like you are improving. I'm so proud of you. Keep it up, okay? Keep this up. Okay. This one, boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen, we only need to work backwards, okay? Focus on the egg tarts that were sold and try to relate it to a percentage. Okay? This question, I give you a hint. I personally would like to use the branching method in order to see. The answer blank, you cannot see. Oh, no. If you cannot see, no problem. You can just type it in here, no problem, okay? Milo Owl, you got it. Wow, quite a number of you have gotten it. Afra, nice one. Rasul, good job. Sophia, you try again. Joy, nice one. Kobe, yep, you got it. You got it. Most of you guys have gotten it. This one is from Paper 2. Shahida, nice one. Alright. How do we feel about this question? Can solve or not? This question is in Paper 2. It's about, how many marks? Uh, three marks, if I'm not wrong. Three mark question. Open your hands. Try again. Faiz Zaid, you got it. You got it. Good job. Nikki, nice one. Okay, let's see. Alright, you have about less than one minute left. Quite a number of you have gotten it right, yeah, actually. Is this question easy for you? Ellen, why? Why so? No, dear, you try again. Um, not 600, you try again, okay? I, I mentioned before why we don't do blue cut is because we have a premium account on Kahoot, but we don't have a premium account on blue cut. That's why. Okay? This question manageable? That's wonderful. Okay, let's take a look at why the answer is 150, like what most of you have gotten. I believe there's more than 43. Quite a number of you have typed it into the chat as well. Let's take a look at the last question. I have color-coded some of the things that I've written here, yeah? So, let me explain to you guys here using the branching method. So, we have a total, total tarts, and we are told that she sold 80% of the total tarts. That would mean that the unsold tarts on the other side will be 20%, okay? 20% of, of the tarts were unsold. Then, from the sold tarts column, Okay, we can further branch out to the tarts, the types of tarts that were sold, which is cheese and egg. We are told that 75% of the sold tarts were cheese, which means the balance of 25% must be eggs. And we are given the value here, which is 500. So we know 25% is 500. We can then find straight away 100% or just the 75% and then add them up later on. Okay, if you find just the 75%, it will be 500 times 3. 25% times 3 gives us 75, right? So we times 3, you get 1,500. Then from 1,500, what we can do is to add them up, to go upwards to give us whatever that is sold, which is the total of 2,000 tarts. Once we have a total of 2,000 tarts, that's 80%, we can find 20%. 80 to 20, we divide by 4. So, 2,000 divided by 4 gives us 500 at the top. And once we have 500, we can go back down to find the number of egg tarts that were unsold, which is just 30% of 500, okay? So, this is something like working backwards. They give you this value. You go up and then go back down to go to the other side of the branching. Everybody clear? Alright, so far so good. Do we understand what's going on here? 
Alright. Everything okay? Okay. All can, huh? Alright. How are we feeling about this question? Is it manageable to end the life? Does it make you feel a little bit better? Yes? Okay, wonderful. If you have enjoyed the live classes so far and you would like to go back and have a re-listen to recap on what was taught, you can go ahead to our uh, YouTube channel at Mastermats TV to rewatch all of our live lessons, okay? For now, the moment that all of you have been waiting for to see who is the number one person to get our $10 popular voucher. This person is... Okay, Shining Chicken, good job for you, for, to you for getting third place. Space Hand also. Oh, it's all chickens. And the number one place is Eager Camel. Congratulations to Eager Camel. Please take a screenshot and send us uh, via DM. We will mail out the vouchers to you, okay? For those of you who would like to join our live class, uh, live webinar class not exactly a class but it's a webinar where we will be sharing a lot of tips and tricks to ace your PSLE math and science you can go on to mastermats.com.sg slash PSLE NDP webinar okay let me see if I can tap it out here in states hmm okay let's take a look if you have no other questions, I will leave this here and I will see you guys again next week at 7.30pm. It has been a very nice evening with you guys again. Thank you so much for spending your time with us and I will see you guys again next week 7.30pm, okay? Thank you everybody. Good night. Let me type in the NDP webinar for you guys, okay? Mastermats.com.sg slash PSLE NDP webinar. Okay. All right. Hopefully, that is very helpful. If you have more questions, you want me to go through any other solutions here, please let me know. Otherwise, I will see you guys again next week. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thank you so much. Good night. See you tomorrow, Tarshani. Whoopsies. <laughs> Speedy Nugget, bye bye. Bye, Sabrina. Bye, Skanda. Bye, everyone. Bye. If you have questions, please let me know, okay? Waalaikum salam, Nana. Sayonara, Kapibara. Bye bye. Oh, what makes me good in math? Um, actually, I practice a lot. Irfan, if that's your question, I practice a lot. I do math every single day. That is why I'm so good at it. So I would say practice, practice, practice and practice and learn from your mistakes. That's very important. So if you want to do well, learn from your mistakes and practice and practice and practice, okay? Oh, Arash, no wonder that's you. <laughs> Bye, Arash. You can just uh, scroll out of the TikTok, okay? Practice your past year papers, practice your corrections, redo your corrections, practice everything that have been taught, your worksheets in school, your tuition worksheets and things like that, okay? I think what you need to focus on, Irfan, is to do uh, your to re to redo your corrections. I think a lot of students always miss out that point. They always think, oh, I see the corrections one time, I will move on from it. But what you need to do is to practice on your corrections. Make sure you master the questions before you move on. That's something that a lot of students are missing out. That's why they cannot seem to get out of the the cycle of always not being able to do well. So always learn from your mistakes. Master your mistakes before you move on. Okay? I think that is one of the most important key points I want to share with you. Okay. 
Mika, what do you mean? Uh, Sophia, the webinar has no papers. No papers. It's just a sharing session for tips and tricks, okay? Mika, you need question 7. Here you go. Question 7. Okay, you take, a, you take a quick look at this first and then I explain to you, okay? <laughs> Mika, can? All okay? Yes, Kairun, I would say yes. Redo the papers a few times, of course. Especially if you have made mistakes in the paper. Make sure you master it, get 100%, then you move on. Okay? Oh, the 10-year PSLE papers, it will be uh, given at the end of the webinar. We will give you like a QR code and then you just go on to that QR code and then you will be able to access the 10-year papers. 10 years worth of papers. Okay, Sophia? Okay, thanks, Mika. Bye-bye. Um, Andrea, the P5 questions, we, will, we are actually focusing on PSLE. The P5 questions will come after PSLE, which is in the, uh, the month of October, okay? The month of October. Bye, Mika. Bye, Sophia. Question 3 and 6. Arash, got it. Question 6 first. Arash, do you need me to explain question 6 to you? Bye-bye, Ian. Thank you so much. Bye, Sophia. Arash, if you need question, do you need me to explain question 6 or you just need to look at the solutions will do? Let me know, okay? Bye, Karun. See you. Oopsies. Okay, Arash, I explained to you here, yeah? All right. So we know that Rosie, I hope you're able to see my pointer here. Rosie spent three quarter of her money, which means she will be left with one quarter. Am I right? So we are going to have one unit for Rosie. And then we also know that Sharon spent two thirds, so she's left with one third. Tanya spent four fifths, so she'll be left with one fifth. So for Rosie, one quarter. For Sharon, one third. And for Tanya, one fifth left. But their one units are not all the same. Because they, we are told that Rosie's one unit is actually 12 more than Sharon's one unit. Okay, and then Tanya's one unit is 20 more than Sharon's one unit. So, Rosie's one unit is 12 more than Sharon's one unit. So, we follow Sharon's one unit, we add 12 to get Rosie. For Tanya, same thing. We follow Sharon's one unit. We add 20 to get Tanya's one unit. Okay? And then from here, because Rosie had one quarter left, that means Rosie's total is four quarters and she spent three quarters. Right? So we are going to have one quarter left. That means we just copy this three more times to get her total. Two quarters, three quarters, four quarters. Understand? Arash, okay, yeah? And then we do the same for Tanya also. This is her one fifth, two fifth, three fifth, four fifths, and a five out of five. Okay? So we just copy out what we have here and fill in the rest for the amounts that they spent. Same for Sharon. Her one unit is very simple and she spent uh, two thirds, so we have another two more units to show what she has spent. That's why it's shaded. Okay, and then from here, we know that the total is 3 to 8. So that means all the 1 unit, there are 12 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 units plus 12 times 4. 4 twelves here and 5 20s there. In total, everything is 3 to 8. So 12 units plus 4 twelves and 5 20s give us 3 to 8. From here, find 12 units, we take away the 48, we take away the 100, we will get 180. Then find one unit, and if we want Tanya at first, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units, with 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, which is 100. That will give us $175. Okay? 
Arash, does that help? Arash, all okay? For those of you who just joined, we actually ended the live already. I'm going through a recap of some of the questions based on some of the requests that our students have. If you would like to catch our live class that you missed out, you can go ahead and rewatch them on our YouTube channel at Mastermats TV. And if you want to get your hands on our worksheet, they can be found on our Telegram channel. Free worksheet, free solutions just for you. Okay, whatever you see on the screen is what you will get in our Telegram channel. Okay? Alright. Arash, let me explain question number three for you. You needed question three. Here we go. Okay, Arash. So we have 90 students or 90 participants and they must have at least a certain score to win prizes. So if, let's say, we put it at at least 26, right? At least 26. In fact, we can do it one by one. Huh? We will do elimination method if you don't understand what we have done here. Okay, elimination method here. 20% of the participants won prizes. 20% of all 90 of them, that means I have 18 people who won prizes. Okay? If the highest score of those who did not win was 29, which means 29 did not win, you get 30, then you win. But that means only 6 of them. Cannot. We need 18 of them. Okay, so the first one is out. The second one, 28. If 28, those who scored 28 and below didn't win, at least, 20, uh, at least 29, then they win. That means we have 18 students. Just nice. 20%. Bingo. If we put it at 27, 27 didn't win. That means 28 onwards you win. You will get more than 18. So again, 27 not right. Same thing for 26. If 26 is my cutoff, those who got 27 and above, then I win prizes that will be more than 18, which will give us more than 20%. Okay? So you can use uh, elimination method to solve this question. Got it, Arash? If you understand, can you please let me know? Thank you. The recording will be uploaded on YouTube uh, sometime tomorrow or Thursday. Okay? tomorrow or Thursday. In the meantime, you can catch all our previous recordings. We have covered a lot of topics on speed, algebra, uh, grouping concept, uh, angles, ratio, fractions, percentage, decimal, so on and so forth. You can go and find them on our YouTube channel in the meantime. Okay, the questions and the solutions are also posted on our Telegram channel. Everything will be there for you. Alright? Okay, Arash, I hope everything is okay, the rest of you as well. We will see you guys again next week at 7.30pm on Tuesday again, okay? If you have any more questions, I'll be here to answer them. Otherwise, I will see you guys again next week on Tuesday, 7.30pm, okay? Thank you, everybody. Good night. Thanks, Rahila, for the likes. Thank you. Good night. See you, guys. See you again next week. This has been Coach Shahira from Master Mats. Once again, last, last, last call here. We are having a free NDP webinar conducted by myself, Coach Sher and Coach Irfan. We'll be giving away a free 50-day study planner together with 10 years worth of PSLE papers for both science and math. So 10 years for science, 10 years for math. If you want all the free resources, go ahead and join our webinar at mastermats.com.sg slash PSLE NDP webinar. Okay? Again, this is open to the public. It's completely free. No need to pay money. We will be, we will be giving you free resources on top of that. So go ahead and join if you are free, okay? It will be on the 8th of August at 5pm. Alright? That is all from me today. Once again, the recordings will be posted sometime tomorrow or Thursday. So you can uh, wait for the recording to be out because we need to process the video first. Then we can post it. Alright, I hope I have answered your question, Rahila. Thank you so much. Alright, if you have no questions, that's all from me. Thank you, everybody. Good night. See you. Bye-bye. Have a good rest. Bye. Bye, good night.